Okay. To get to the FAFSA application, we are going to type studentaid.gov on your web browser, and that will take you to this landing page. Since we are new to applying to the FAFSA, we will start and click here on this white button. It's asking us for our login. Since we've already created our FSA ID, we will click here on the left side, I am the student. And we will write in that student's FSA ID username. And also the student's FSA ID password. If we do not have our FSA ID created, you should be able to log in using your student identifiers, clicking on this right portion. Here, you could write your first name. You can also write in your last name, social security number, all nine digits, and also your date of birth, two digit month, two digit day, and four digit year. Make sure this information is exactly as it shows on your social security card. Once you've had that in, you could click next. If you're logging in with your FSA ID, username and password, we will click next. Next, you will receive this disclaimer message. And this is pretty much acknowledging that the information you're providing is to be shared with the US federal government and US Department of Education solely for figuring out the amount of financial aid you're eligible for. So if you accept that, we click accept, we're processing, and we will click on Start New FAFSA, and you will create a save key. Now, these are four numbers that you can remember for your application. Write those in, and you will write that twice, and we will hit Next. You will now see a section for the introduction where it gives you explanations of the different steps and also information on how to complete it. Since we're working on this application together, we could click next. And now, here is the information that you might have provided earlier through your FSA ID account creation or as you initially logged in. Make sure your social security number is correct, exactly as it shows on your card. Your first name, make sure that is spelled correctly as well. If you have a middle initial, you may include that here. Your last name and also your date of birth. Make sure the information is correct and we can move to the next section. Next, there is a portion for your email. Make sure this is a personal email you have access to. Do not use your student ID account that's associated to Elk Grove. That will be in twice. And also, if you would like to provide a telephone number such as your cell for any follow-up, you may provide that here. And we go next. This portion is asking for students' information in regards to your permanent mailing address. This is the address where you're able to receive letters. Please type that in with your number of the street first, the name of the street. Make sure you type out street. If you do have an apartment number, you may include that in this line as well. Your city you will type in the city of Sacramento. And also for your state, you will type in California. There's a section for your zip code here. Type that in and you may move forward once you've had that information typed in. Next, have you lived in this should say California for at least five years. 
If you have, you will click yes. If you have not, you will put no. When you click yes, you're able to then state whether you're a US citizen. If you click no, it will ask you what is your state of legal residence. This is basically asking where do you reside and you could pick the state. And then did you become a legal resident of California before January 1st, 2016? You will answer either yes or no. Let's move in so we could go to the next question. Are you a US citizen? Your options are yes, I am a US citizen or US national. No, but I am an eligible non-citizen. No, I am not a citizen or eligible non-citizen. So click the one that pertains to you and we will move to the next section. What will be your high school completion status when you begin college in 2021, 2022 school year? And so all of us will complete our high school diploma. Go ahead and click that option. What college degree or certificate will you be working on when you begin 2021, 2022 school year? Options are first bachelor's degree. If you are working towards your first bachelor's degree, you will click there. Will you have your first bachelor's degree before you begin 2021-2022 school year? It has already selected no for you because you stated that you are working on your first bachelor's degree. The next question, what will your college grade level be when you begin the 2021-22 school year? Most of us will pick never attended college first year. So let's go ahead and click that one. The next question, are you interested in being considered for work study? This is an opportunity to work on campus and earn a paycheck, whether on a biweekly uh, manner or once a month. And this is another form of financial aid. If you are interested, you could click yes. If not, you put no. If you're unsure, then you could go ahead and click do not know. Next question, are you male or female? Answer as you find best fit. If you select male, a follow-up question is, are you registered with the selected service system? If you are, you click there. If you are not, you could click no. The next follow-up question will be, do you want us to register you with the Select a Service system? You could click yes or no. One thing to note, if you click no, um, one, one of the things that will happen is that you will not be granted financial aid. And so by clicking yes, you will be able to be considered for financial aid for the college. And we'll click next. If you have a driver's license number, you may type that in here. Also, you will include the driver's license state. If this does not pertain to you, you can move on to the next question. The next question we see is, are you a foster youth or were you at any time in foster care system? You could click yes or no. Click yes, there's no follow-up questions. If you are not, you could click no. And we move on to the next question. Here it's asking the high school completed, I'm sorry, the highest school completed by parent one, the highest education level. Our options are middle school, junior high, high school, college or beyond or other and unknown and already start taking into consideration who you're naming as parent one. Second, highest school completed by parent two. Again, click which best fits 
and you can move on to the next section. We are now in the school selection section.